How could someone who police say fired a gun at an officer get out of jail without paying a bond? That's what Tucson's police chief wants to know. As KG9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, prosecutors say they asked for a stiff bond in this case. Tucson police say an undercover sergeant was doing surveillance in this part of 29th Street when a man named Zachary Lee argued with the officer, then started shooting at him. The sergeant wasn't shot, but he shot back and wounded Lee in the arm. When the time came to decide if Lee would get out of jail on bond, a judge released him without requiring Lee to put up any cash. That outraged Tucson Police Chief Chris Magnus. He went on Twitter and said in part, quote, Lee was arrested and charged with ag assault with a deadly weapon. Yet, get this, the Tucson City Court judge released Lee on pretrial release with no bond over the prosecutor's request. Feel safe? Beyond frustrating. The chief made it clear prosecutors did ask for high bond. Pima County Attorney Laura Conover says when guns are involved, she wants high bonds that make it tougher to get out of jail. We're going to request a high bond because you need to be held. And, and until such time as you are not posing an ongoing threat to the community. Conover does want to move away from cash bonds in very different kinds of cases. She favors low or no bond for low-level, non-violent suspects to leave room in the jail for people who could be a threat. Sheriff Chris Nanos agrees with that, too. A source familiar with the case says the question of no bond and no jail time seems to connect to a report from pretrial services that told the judge it was low risk to release Zachary Lee without bond because his family would supervise him give him a place to stay, and make sure he does not skip any court hearings. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.